Fathers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today here in a little Scandinavia action with uh, how many players do we got here? 40 players. Sorry, I was kind of thinking about where I wanted to go. But Finland's going to be great for us. We love Finland. This is, I, I, people sleep on this spot. I know most maps you are in, you do not want to be in the middle. I understand that completely. But I honestly think Scandinavia is a little bit different. I get a lot of great starts down here in Finland. Not the best start with this guy above us, Mr. Turk ran spawning in, but we'll make the best of it and just kind of go from here. So let's just go with our kind of new hybrid model of a 20, 20, 30, 30. And then typically we full send after that and just kind of see how things maneuver for us here as actually I'm just going to go right now and just see how big we can get as we're just going to keep expanding, trying to choke off Turk a little bit so that he has to be forced up north, but he's honestly not gonna have a lot of great options, but I'm mostly focused on my own expansion. Didn't really expand that way with the purpose of cutting him off, but it kind of works out to our favor as now we have access to a number of bots and some weaker players to the southeast. At least that's how they look right now. They might have a bunch of troops on deployment. A lot. Yeah, he's got 8,000. So we'll just keep expanding here. We are getting attacked by Ronaldo nice and early, but we're just gonna ignore it for the time being. We might push against him here in a little bit. He is pretty low. Let's just hit him. Yeah, just give him a little warning shot. He's going again, brother. <laughs> Get out of here. What are you doing? Let's just really knock him down here. And you as well. Holy cow. Yeah, if you want to deploy all your troops away, I'm going to definitely jump in on that. But we might have made an enemy with somebody too early. But the other turkey player jumps in on that as well. So that's really beneficial for us. Allows us to just kind of move, maneuver through some bots. We are not the strongest, but fortunately for us, a lot of our neighbors are weak as well as we can help finish off this uh, player in black right here. And the other turkey player is attacking me as well. Well, <laughs> we'll just knock you down as well, my friend, as you only have about 10,000 as well. We've got 180, which is not the best. We are in the middle, so we do need to be a little bit cautious about our troops. So as soon as we're done with this, if we can get by, we're going to send out all the alliances and then just try and hang out from here as we're going to be running the gauntlet for our own survival. Let's get an alliance with you, 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 alliance with you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're getting the point. We're going with everybody. Okay, so uh, three of them accepted. Four, that's great. Five, hey, that's good. Six, so we're in the money. Most of, seven, eight, oh, all of our friends, all of our neighbors are, are friendly, which is good for us because we are close to a million. I think that kind of was the real keystone for a lot of our friendships here. As now we got to pick our mark and where do we want to go next in this TGNS guy is kind of getting attacked by friend. I don't want to jump into something too early as we really would like to be up to 5 million and just kind of throwing our weight around with the amount of troops that we have. No need to jump the shark getting involved too early, but also don't want to leave land on the table. It's just about when the iOS user guy in second place is going for this land. Ah, I forgot. I think I got to go for it. Let's just go. By the way, we're freaking Stein today, not freaking Stein's monster. It's completely different. <laughs> it's a name I'm really proud of. I enjoy it. Playing as a few pseudonyms. Getting honestly better games with pseudonyms. So we'll continue on that path just for a little bit um, as we finish up Mr. OG Boy up here as he is gone. And now we can just continue to go back to saving. No need to rush into anything. Although Toby wants to go into friend. That's an interesting development, one that I didn't necessarily anticipate too much. I'll say yes to that. And we are at our red interest mark, so it kind of is beneficial for us to take out friend over here. Even though he is someone we had an alliance with, or not aggression packed with, this is kind of the moment that is, it's in our best interest to take this guy out. He's going to be locked behind us in the end game and only really have us to attack, so... Let's get him out of the way early before anybody else really has time to strike. And iOS user 767 rightfully attacks me. That's a smart move. By the way, this is a game with full sins. So we're gonna have to probably eat a full sin from 767 up here, but he's the person I want to attack the most. Although honestly, I'm not thrilled about having borders with a true friend and European. Hold on, this guy's boating. I don't think so, buddy. There's only so many reasons somebody would want to boat over to this island is if he's trying to get involved as well. So we're going to be on boat watch from here on, just making sure that he does. not Toby has broken the non-aggression pact and attacked us. Just give him a warning shot. He might get attacked by that Iran player down below. Here comes another boat from you. In these situations, the worst thing you can do is panic. We know our target. It's iOS user. So we're just going to keep attacking him, just ignoring everything else for the time being and just keep our focus in on him. We'll obviously prevent boats coming over because we're not super duper strong, 
but uh, we'll just keep going. Ignore Toby almost completely in this moment. And that boat might get through. Freak. I don't think I can get one out in time. Nope. So close. So close. Well, we'll send it in. As long as it doesn't full send us here in this moment. And a true friend is actually helping us with iOS user. Hold on. With up north. Let's grab the land. There. I was clicking on lakes the whole time. But we'll get this guy out of the way. A true friend will be a true friend to us. We're going to take out this Android user over here. Knock him down. Now we've got a new threat in the Eastern European commune who's very strong. We're going to knock down Toby a little bit. Stop your boats, brother. We have the strength to kind of carry this one through, hopefully. I mean, if European uh, commune joins right away, him and Toby would be a lot. That's for sure. True friend wants to go into him. I honestly agree. That's the better move here. I shouldn't even be bothering with Toby. We'll just keep blocking Drew's boats to the best of our ability. And we'll push up into this guy before he gets... He's already passed his red interest mark. So that is a little bit unfortunate there. But if we... True friend's helping us. So he is being a true friend. Really living up to that namesake. Is that boat going to make it? It is. It's okay. He doesn't really have the troops at this point to block us. So, or to really do anything to us. So we can just kind of knock him off as he comes in. Stop worrying about boating and deploying our troops in the water. And uh, we'll just keep focusing on European over here. As I would love to end the game with true friend. He's been honestly a true friend. He's held true to his name and keep him kind of as a buffer state between me and, and uh, everybody else. Although the boats in this narrow channel are not hard to overcome, but we can just knock him back. We have a plenty amount of troops and we've positioned ourselves well enough if I feel like if we'd continued attacking Toby, that would have been a huge mistake because we did have Iran there, which is another reason that I wanted to attack this guy. So we'll knock this guy out of the way. Drew did get full sent down below. Now we can work on Toby. True friend's going to get a little bit bigger. So nice buffer state. He's in fourth place though. So something to keep in mind. I mean, I think, okay, Toby full sends us. So now we're in control. We just need to kind of buy, we just need to attack Iran. And if we can get Iran out of here before everyone turns on us, we win the game. And we can walk out of here with a few friends. I mean, England and True Friend were initial in that initial wave of friendship. So I have no qualms with attacking England if he wants to attack me. But he's n done nothing to me. He could have voted over as well. But he's quietly been accumulating strength himself. As now we finish off the OG guy, just attack through that uh, full send and get over into this bot just to make sure that we will win because we haven't won yet. We're only at 42 percent, which is pretty good. But it's not quite the end yet, as we've also let our TR friend uh, get through here as well. I completely forgot about him. But I'm honestly good with this one. I mean, if everybody wants to peace, here, let's say GG. Peace. And kissy face for the boys. I'm going to, yeah, there's one person. I think that's enough. Okay, good. I was on the, I was on the negative just in case. But GG's to this one. We'll go on to the next game. All right, next game up is going to be a 40-person teams battle here in North America. There's one other Corgi boy. We're going to go here in Georgia and just kind of protect our... Yeah, good, good, good. There's one other guy that goes with us. I don't really like the... Uh, ooh, I really don't like the two players on the black team. Not sure about the spot. Going to hold true. And one of them left. Wonderful news. So we do priority number one have to deal with oh, two players on the purple team. One player on the black team to our backside to establish a corner, which is not necessarily the best. But we do have a teammate over to the west. And that is Michael, I think it is. Uh, Macavell? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's a foreign name. I grew up in Colorado. It's a landlocked state. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Any hoozles. We'll just continue to grow here. We've hit a uh, level of compression that we can continue on our infinite growth phase. So that's why I go a little bit on the early side. Just to make sure that we maximize the opportunities we have with bots. So we're not attacking big bots when they're big. And we can attack a bunch of sending bots where do i want to go uh you you yeah i'm ah, that wasn't the best attack now we do have to worry about the yellow team up north as well we could get pinched here now fortunately for us the two players in florida are actually rather weak we do have machiavel over there who's decently strong himself and the two players in florida are actually attacking each other which is just wonderful we have the crown we're gonna go ahead and finish up you and honestly i think we do a big attack and reclaim uh the homeland over here in florida and uh, finish you off. Now, I don't like that guy in Cuba, but hopefully he'll be a little bit past this. As Machiavel has taken the crown for himself, which is fine by me. It's great to be next to a strong teammate. The blue team is in first place with 26% of the board. 
most of that is me and Macaville, but uh, Corgi Balkan Empire is in seventh place. We'll have to look for him here in a minute as we just need to kind of grab this bot. I don't really want to border Kenya. That's three players on the yellow team, and I'm not the biggest fan of that quite yet. No, we need to build up strength. I mean, me and Macaville both have red interest marks at two million each, so there's no need for us to rush anything. Now, fortunately for us, the yellow team is going up north into the red team, which I do believe is a little bit of a mistake, but if they, it looks like a war they've been involved with for, for some time. Macaville is fighting when he should potentially be saving, but we're in a position to help him should he really need it, at least I think, and I really want to go into this yellow guy, 200,000. We'll, we'll wait on this a little bit, but he's really making a tempting target as he gets lower and lower on troops and we keep rising. 1.3 Let's go into it. Oh, and we actually <laughs> coordinate a very well-timed attack with the uh, cat guy up there. So we're just going to keep fighting down this guy. Macaville is in a saving mode good because we're going to probably need to do a one-two punch into Kenya. Kenya's getting rather strong. He's climbing up the leaderboard, and that is a target that both of us can attack. So I do think that is the best thing for us to do in this moment. But saving up to red interest is probably the right play here. He's also gotten a lot bigger. Macaville, where'd you get all of your land? Where'd you... Oh, you're up to 3.6 million. How'd you get bigger than me? Where's your... I'm so confused. He doesn't look that much bigger. <laughs> but it's fine. We are going to continue to keep saving up. I don't take alliances in team games. I mean, I think it's kind of cheap that you can. It's just like, it's just like, hey man, you got your team. I understand some situations call for taking on the crown and the non-aggression packs help in that regard. But, oh, we're going to fight down this guy the rest of the way. Yep, and we didn't get a good share of that. Keck actually is slightly smaller than us, but actually he takes the crown. But let's involve our boys. We got to do this. We are above red interest. Everyone's at red interest, or at least me and Macaville. Let's knock down Kenya so that we can potentially fight the black player above us. He's very strong. That is very concerning. So we definitely want to knock this guy down before he consolidates any more power. He's got that red player up in Quebec, which is going to be a threat to us. If he's able to knock him down so it's kind of a race against time i really need macaville in this fight this is not a fight i can do solo so we're going to try and save him some room as he's trying to fight on two fronts which is quite unfortunate Unfor I yeah we're just gonna have to let those teammates die we got to deal with the crown nobody else is in position to deal with this this is our fight if we don't take it like right now we're all going to lose so I'm going to save a little bit of room for, for Macaville to get up north. I thought about cutting him off briefly, but no, no, no. We definitely need him in this fight. Balkans is there, but he's holding back the floodgate of the Magenta team. So there's really not much ex help from him that we can expect. I'm still going to involve him in this and see what he can do. But just say, hey, boys, we got to go into this guy. I'm going to attack right now. Macaville did follow me into Kenya. So I'm trusting that he's going to follow me again. Although, he gives the thumbs up, but hasn't charged yet. Uh, brother. <laughs> no, 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 don't go there. Don't go there, <laughs> brother. Uh, charge. Charge. We just got, oh, he's in a boat. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so now we win this fight. We just gotta hopefully win it with the right timing. I mean, we're still in first place, but, you know, Kak by himself, essentially, is holding down 28% of the board. So we just keep knocking down this guy one, two, and we'll get through this just fine. Now, in a free-for-all, if you're the one getting attacked, typically you just kind of want to hold. But because we're so similar in strength, I'm just going to keep pushing this guy down, mostly because of the timing of the... Oh, there's a full send! I was about to say, the timing of how long Vulcans can hold out against the Magenta team is probably not very high, as we get all of Quebec, and we could potentially go up north. But honestly, I think the fight... It, did I just see the yellow team go into Macaville? And I do want to support you, brother. Just give me a minute. I'm trying to get up to... Yeah, Macaville is getting attacked as well by both the players on the yellow team. That is not good. We've got to kind of donate. Okay, Pixel's going to border us here really quickly. So let's save our troops and wait for him to do so. Nope, can't get in there. Macaville wants me to attack him. Next attack, brother. I'm in. I'm going to crush this guy. Go, 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 go. We push very heavy. Let's knock down this guy as fast as we can. That was a mistake. And he full sends on Balkans. Balkans kind of recognized what was going on. And now we can, can, can kind of consolidate power a little bit. I'm going to try and come to Bal the Balkans rescue. As I'm sure he's low on troops. Yeah, he's only got 2 million left after that. And knocking down 484. Oh, 484 left and became a bot. But knocking down 484 before he's able to get up to his red interest mark was the exact play we wanted to do there. I'm going to try my best 
to save Balkans, even though he uh he's over his red interest, so he, that's he's about as many troops as he can handle. As his uh, the magenta teammate realizes what happens and goes, "Oh my gosh, we could have won this." I don't know about that, but definitely didn't help. Hold on, don't don't attack him. We save him. We save him. Hold on. Uh, this is so stupid. <laughs> no, did he, he's even alive? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. I risked it all to save Balkan Empire. Brother, I tried. I tried my best. You played. You were such a selfless teammate, and I tried my best to, to save you. I'm not. He left and became a bot. Okay, but he still exists. He still exists. Balkan's good game. Holy cow. What a selfless teammate that was. As we'll just kind of wrap things up here, grabbing as many islands as we can to try and get to 99%. North America's 99% is honestly pretty frustrating. You have to grab a ton of islands, but GG's to Macaville. Me and him were in sync. It's always nice to have a teammate like Macaville who's just like understands what's going on and where the threat is. And you, you tell him, hey, let's go attack this guy. And he's just in. You know, sometimes people play for themselves. Macaville could have easily wasted our team's chances of winning by going to the yellow players instead of attacking the black player with me. But he didn't. We won. And that's going to do it for today. So as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially made this far in the video. If you have made this far in the video, hey, give a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. Put videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one. And a special thank you to all of my members with shoutouts to producers Icy, Quagsire Lover32, Kevin Andy Stamps, Christopher Ryans, King Arctic, and Executive Producers, Misgets the Mallard, A137, Mason Slash Aurelius, Rob Drake, Uther Ekinal, Brock Lowry, Daniel Stevens, Sakari Scarlet, Morwin, Ogan Gabriel, Maverick149, Jeremy Daniels, Austin, Abigalula, The Lesser Adam Mar, Ollie Cox, Ghost Burrs, Chris Mitchell, and Solar Galaxy. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.